Hi, I'm Rob Hopkin, President of ProTech Inspection Services. Welcome to our mold page. I think you'll find this mold video educational. A lot of people are afraid of mold, but mold does not have to be a scary thing. What we need to understand about mold is that it is everywhere. There are lots of sources of mold, everything organic. Identification of the specific type of mold is not always necessary. There are several sampling methods we can use to determine what uh, kind of mold we have. Sometimes we may want to do sampling, sometimes we may not. We need to know about mold remediation if we have mold, and we need to know about preventative measures to make sure that mold doesn't take hold in our home. So what is mold? It's a type of fungi. It's necessary to break down organic materials throughout the world. There are over 100,000 species of mold, and it's been a problem in homes since biblical times. Most molds are relatively harmless, while others may be toxic. Molds are found in virtually every environment and can be detected both indoors and outdoors year-round. It takes three conditions for mold growth. Ideal temperatures, which is basically anywhere we would live. A food source, which is all organic materials, including paper, wood, and especially drywall. And a moisture source. Mold likes it wet, dark, and with as little air movement as possible. Typical causes for mold? Water leaks, of course, in basements, roofs, pipes, appliances, high relative humidity from maybe overused humidifiers, and a lack of airflow often found in basements behind furniture or storage items. Mold can be identified under a microscope. Why do we care what kind of mold it is? Well, knowing what kind it is will often help us in determining the source and level of protection needed. We often get the question, should we call an independent lab for mold testing or use the remediator's recommendation? Well, using a mold remediator for testing and testing out is like letting the rat guard the cheese. The mold can come in high or low depending on how and where it's tested, and the mold remediator knows that. Another reason we would want to identify what kind of mold it is is to determine if the mold is allergenic versus toxic. Some people react to allergenic molds, like being allergic to cats or dogs or plants, but everyone gets sick from toxic mold. You can't determine the type of mold from its color. The color of the mold is largely determined by what it's eating and not what the type is. There are three basic methods for sampling mold. Air sampling, swab sampling, and tape lifts. Sampling costs on average $295 to $495 for two or three samples, but if done in the course of a home inspection, a swab sample can often be done for as little as $100. This is two pages of a typical mold lab report. It's hard for the average person to make heads or tails out of this, so what we do is we take this lab report and we write our own report to summarize what the lab report says. Since we look at these every day, it's easy for us to read. So why should I do a mold test? Well, if there's a health history of someone in the building, if you detect a mildew smell in the home, if the home has had a history of leaks, by the time you see mold with a naked eye, you've got a lot. You may want to do a mold test to determine the scope and type of a potential contamination. So we have a mold problem. Now what? It's time for remediation. The first thing to understand is that this is a fixable problem. There are several different types of remediation, from complete removal of moldy products, to cleaning the products, to just doing air scrubbing, basically cleaning the air with a HEPAVAC. Cost to remediate can be anywhere from a few hundred dollars to many thousands of dollars. It depends on the surfaces, how easy they are to get at, and how embedded the mold is. The important thing with mold remediation is to deal with mold remediators that know what they're doing and do this day in and day out. This is no time for amateurs. We frequently see contractors make mold problems worse by taking the mold out and spreading it all over everywhere. Small mold problems less than 10 square feet can be cleaned by a homeowner, although we do recommend 
you Google EPA mold remediation for specific guidelines on that. And most important, if you're going to do remediation, you have to take preventative measures either at the same time as the remediation or before remediation, or the mold problem will likely come right back. So what are those preventative measures? Solve the water problem first. Keep the humidity less than 50%. Have adequate ventilation and air circulation. Replace air filters on a regular basis and clean all surfaces routinely. I hope you found this helpful and thank you for listening. If we can be of service, give us a call at 301-972-8531.